David, can you tell us why you've chosen these particular artists to show in Counterpoint? Well, I've been interested in both uh, Luton Shane and Jerry Lee for some time. And I've already shown two of Luton Shane's films, his earlier films, History of Chemistry and History of Chemistry 1, on previous occasions. So I was familiar with his work. With Jai Lee, I've seen his work develop over some time through various visits to Beijing and visits to his studio. And I was impressed with it at a very early stage. So the opportunity to have an exhibition at Inaba was first, first originated with the idea of showing Jai Lee's paintings and then thinking of the uh, video space upstairs of an artist who might work in unison with the paintings with, with an artist who had similar concerns. So that was the background to, to the start of the show. Uh, and what's uh, behind the title, uh, Counterpoint? Well, Counterpoint really does stem from that association between the two artists. They're both, they both have similar concerns which are to do with the, uh, the growth and the demise of the industrial, uh, of industrial might, you might say and the effect that that has had on society, particularly Chinese society, but, in, but internationally as well. And also the apocalyptic dimension of a society that runs out of control, both environmentally um, and uh, through um, the irresponsible use of this industry. So as one works with film and video and the other works with painting, they count, the counterpoint is between the two media as much as it is between the two artists. And do you think their work is representative of a mood in China at the moment? And can you explain a little uh, context about the climate in the arts in China? Well, uh, we've seen this huge upsurge of interest in contemporary art from China over the last five or six years. And it's been really focused upon painting because the interest in it has rather been driven by the market. Um, and Jiao Li, well both artists represent a generation that have not been so taken up by that market driven interest. Um, and their concerns I think reflect the concerns of the generation that following behind the artists. I find those, those, the prominent paint is very much um, influenced by Western pop art. There's the iconography of the Cultural Revolution which a lot of them are still finding a way of working through. So I think that uh, Jai Li and Lin Cheng actually represent the concerns of a young generation who maybe are freer from the imagery of the Cultural Revolution and are freer from the demands of the market.